That Damned Hotel is a project of The Pulp State, a theater company dedicated to electrifying communities by sharing rip-roaring plays that only require voices and imagination. What you're about to see was recorded live over Zoom in 2021. Episode 12, Eugenia's Magic Diary. All right, Frank. Time to be honest with yourself. You have been trapped here for several days or or at least 20 minutes it's it's clear that eugenia and plinth are not coming back for you mm -hmm. eugenia plinth eugenia eugenia see not coming you're going to be stuck in this hell portal forever which is fine <laughs> uh oh i might be panicking okay 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 frank focus Yes, you thought you could fight an archdemon. Yes, she attacked you. Yes, you fainted. You woke up, you ran aimlessly for a while, and you're now trapped at a dead end. This is what I warned Eugenia would happen. I didn't, I didn't warn her necessarily that her rash actions would trap me in an intestinal hell portal, but I did warn of general vague doom, and this place is very doomy. What's that? Who's Miguel? Is that you? I know you're trapped down here with me. <laughs> you're wrong about that, buddy. Who said that? Me. Who's me? Look up. Look up? See that fleshy protuberance hanging from the ceiling? I see many fleshy protuberances hanging from the ceiling because this place is disgusting. Uh, it's the one with the microphone in it. Oh. Oh. Flesh microphone. That's how I'm talking to you. My idea. Pretty nifty, huh? Very nifty. Are you a portal demon? <laughs> Was that a human joke? I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. There is no such thing as a portal demon. Oh. I am a security demon. My mistake. Um, what did you say I was wrong about? Uh, Uzbegil's not trapped here in the hell portal with ya. Uzbegil's not here? Nope. She took your form and went on up to Earth. She did what? Sorry, I thought, I thought you spoke human. I'll say it to you in demon. Uzbegil took my form. Eugenia and Plinth must think she's me. Aw, oh, that's not very likely. <laughs> no, you're right. That, that's very likely. She's going to take the diary. What diary? Long story. I got time. I don't. That diary is Eugenia's only advantage. If Uzbegil takes it, then, then Eugenia and Plinth will be in danger. No, sure. If she can, she'll destroy all your friends and also everyone else on Earth and eat their souls. Yada, yada, yada. Archdemons. Anywho, sorry to butt in on your sadness there. No, wait, 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 wait. Please, please. You have to help me get back to Earth. Buddy, if I knew how to get up to Earth, believe me, I'd have gone there myself. Oh, sure, to eat human souls, right? Nah, I'm a vegetarian. Clearly that means something very different in hell. I want to go to Earth on vacation. Traveling, hitting the road, seeing what more there is to this world than screams and flames. Vacation? Travel? I can't help you with that. I'm Frank Bloom. Please help me. Oh, wish I could, Frank, but I see from my console here in the control center that the hellhounds have been released. Oh, God, the hellhounds. Plinth told me about them. <laughs> Shouldn't be long before they find you. Did you say Plinth? Yes, do you know Plinth? We're very good friends. Nice kid. Too bad she went and pissed off her uncle like that. But did she, she's still demon family, right? I'm sure Lucifer would want her to stay safe. You can help me save her. I'm sorry, buddy. Unreleasing the Hellhounds would take a mountain of damned paperwork. I can help with the paperwork. <laughs> and now that they're released, the Hellhounds gotta feed. Feed? Yup. It's my main job as security demon. If the Hellhounds don't feed, I'm watered. Watered? Lose my job. Oh. Uzbegil did the old portal flush spell. Head hunt demon clomp loose the Hellhounds and the Hellhounds destroy all intruders. Nifty, huh? Death by hellhounds is not nifty. Oh, they're not going to kill you. Oh, that's a relief. They're going to eat your soul. That's the same thing. 
Uh, agree to disagree. You'll have to catch me first. No, I don't recommend running, buddy. That'll just make them hungrier. Oh, God. Actually, that works for me because then I'd be off by eight. Run, Frank! Um, uh, in a dead end, paralyzed by fear, can't run. Can you run just a little bit? Only it would take fewer time if the hellhounds didn't have to go look everywhere for you. Less time. It's not fewer time. It's less time. Hey, I didn't know that. Thanks for the Earth human lesson, bud. I can give you more Earth lessons if you please just spare me so I can stop Uzbegil from destroying the diary. <laughs> oh, they're getting closer. Can you hear them? I, I hear a sound like like concrete being scraped with a million metal rakes. Ah, that's the hounds. They sure are excited. All right, all right. I did not want it to come to this, but I would like to speak to your manager. No! <laughs> I'm serious. You can't just speak to my manager. She's very busy. Can't spend all her time managing. Even though it's her job? We employees do all the work. Managers get all the glory. Oh, I think I just saw a hellhound, please. Managers get all the perks. They get to lounge around in their nice manager villas down by the lava lake. Lava lake, lava lake. I know all about that. No, oh, sure, the lava lake's real nice, but here I am, stuck in this control room, nothing but buttons and screens and fire to look at. It's difficult for me to feel bad that you don't get days off when my soul is about to be eaten by hellhounds. Oh, which? Oh, no. Oh, God. They're close. Now, I've accrued two weeks of paid time off, but haven't used any since 1266. Can you believe that? Nowhere to taken- go. You haven't taken a vacation in 800 years? Hey, you're good at math. You should be an accountant. They're here. They're here. The, the hellhounds are here. Well, I'll leave you to it, Frank. Wait, wait, wait. Vacation. Vacation. I know where you can go. Did you say vacation? Vacation. Please get them away from me. Bone crush. Soul swallow. Muffin. <laughs> Sit. I know where you can go on vacation. You do, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe we can help each other out. Meanwhile, back at the hotel lobby. Hey, seriously, stop bugging me about the stupid diary. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Plants, don't use that word. I am trying to help you. And how will getting rid of my dad's diary help me? It is a crutch. It's not a crutch. Then why are you holding it so tightly? I'm not. I'm just holding it. Your knuckles are white. They are so pretty and so white. They look dead. Mm -hmm. You're not even looking. I am looking at the hell portal. Maybe you shouldn't look directly into it. That can't be healthy. I feel very healthy. Ooh, it is so pretty. Eugenia, you are changing the subject. No, I'm not. What subject? The diary. Oh, that subject. You have been holding on to it ever since we returned from the portal. We haven't been back that long. I can sit it down anytime I want. Prove it. Prove it? Yes. Give me the diary. Will it get you to leave me alone for one second? Yes, I'll just hang on to it for a little while. Wait. What? The finding spell. Who cares about spells? Just give me the diary. In a minute, okay? First, I want to try something. Earlier tonight, before you two were turned into zombies. (gasps) We were zombies. (laughs) I found a spell in the diary that shows my greatest enemy. Eugenia, Uzbegil is gone forever. I saw it. Yeah, so you keep saying, but why do I keep feeling like she's not? Why do I feel like she's very, very close? I do not know. That's weird. Mm -hmm. And this spell will show me exactly where she is if she's still around. Do not read that spell. Oh, just deal with it. A little poetry never hurt you. Third eye open, search to see, to hell's domain, go and spy. Search for evil, carefully, show all in my mind's eye. Huh. Whatever you are seeing, it is not real. Probably. What I see is the hotel lobby. We are in the hotel lobby. Thanks, Plinth. I am sitting in front of the hell portal phone in the lobby. I am waving. Oh, can you see me on TV? I'm not watching TV, Plinth. It's magic. <gasps> I'm on magic TV? No. No, I can't see anyone. Just the lobby, that's it. Oh. That proves it. Uzbegil is dead. Let me have the diary. Okay, why the crap do you suddenly hate this diary so much? 
I have always mistrusted that foul thing. Huh? I've always thought we should not use it. <laughs> Frank Bloom, you are funny. <laughs> I am never funny. Take that back. You told us to protect the diary when you were fighting Uzbekil. I did. I did. But now, now it is dangerous. Uzbekil is dangerous. Uzbekil is defeated. Yeah, but we don't know for sure. I saw it happen. That doesn't mean anything. That was rude. It was rude. Look, I'm sorry. I, I just have a really, really bad feeling. Apology not accepted. That diary has changed you. Diary, diary, it's all about the diary. I am going to read another spell. Yeah. What? Dude, poems aren't that bad. I have been through trauma and terrors. I am very stressed out. Go take a nap or go help Plinth stare at the unclosable portal. She seems relaxed. The portal tornado is so purple and so evil and so pretty. <laughs> Whoa, it is tickling my brain. Okay, Plinth, you really need to stop staring into the portal. I have to stare into the portal. Why? I do not know. Okay, whatever. Oh! Oh, I can read the spell! No more spells. A spell to make soup hotter. Spectacular. Do demons fear hot soup? Ooh, I like soup. Okay. Um, a spell to allow blending of colors and whites in the laundry. Why the crap are these the readable spells? Your father could read all of those spells, and yet he could not defeat Uzbegil. Mm, there's gotta be something. It is time to give up. No. Uzbegil is defeated. You are obsessing. She isn't. She can't be. Why can you not face the truth? Because I was supposed to be the one to destroy Uzbegil, okay? She took my entire life away from me. She took everything. I didn't have a reason to live until I came to this hotel. Because after years of just wandering around, trying to leave the past behind me, trying to leave revenge behind me, the past pulls me right back here. To where my family died. And you really expect me to let that go just because you maybe saw Uzbegil fall into hell? Your family would be disappointed in you. Excuse me? Cousin Eugenia's family loved her. Grown ups are talking, Plinth. Cousin Eugenia's family would be very proud of her. <laughs> Thank you, Plinth. Can we talk privately, Eugenia, where we can be relieved of Plinth's outbursts? Fine, I'm on a cheese stick. Let's go to the kitchen. Plinth, do you want to come? I must stay here with the portal. Yes, stay here and watch the phone. Really? You're not hungry? Mm. Thank Bloom. What? What should I do if the hell portal phone flashes? Answer it. Frank Bloom. What? Do I have permission to answer the Hell Portal phone? Because before it was a Hell Portal phone, you said, do not enter that phone, Plinth. Do not eat that phone. Just never, ever, 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 ever touch that phone, Plinth. Yes, yes, yes. If someone calls, answer it. Okay. Goodbye. I hope someone calls. I hope someone calls. I hope <gasps> someone is calling. <clears throat> Thank you for calling the Hollow Grove Hotel. This is Plinth. I love you. Plinth, we've been over this. You can't just tell strangers that you love them. Who are you? Frank. Oh, Frank Bloom! I am talking to you on the phone and you are here in the hotel. Crap, crap. Am I, am I there in the lobby right now? Oh, you are in the kitchen arguing with Eugenia and eating cheese sticks. Plinth, that's not me. I am trapped inside the unclosable portal. You are in the kitchen. I am in the portal. The unclosable portal? Yes, the unclosable portal. Why are you in the unclosable portal? Okay, Plinth, I, I want you to listen very, very hard. Okay. Plinth, Plinth, Plinth. Hi, Franklin. Listen without making noise. Oh, <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> I uh, know. No. Do you remember when you helped Eugenia back to the hotel and you left me behind in the hell portal? You defeated Uzbegil with embarrassing personal stories. Very good, except that that didn't work. She stole my form. <gasps> that is not nice. No. Plinth, do you know what that means? That you don't like cheese sticks. What? No, 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 no. That's Uzbegil in the hotel, not me. <gasps> that is Uzbegil. Shh, 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 shh. Yes, yes, yes. She trapped me here in the hell portal with the <gasps> hellhounds. My puppies? Oh, I love them so much. Do you love them so much? 
Their drool is boring holes in my shoes. <laughs> Puppies. <laughs> is Eugenia all right? Cousin Eugenia is arguing and shouting at you. She is fine. That's not me. Oh, bad things are happening. Yes, but I have a plan which will save us all. The plan. Ooh, what is the plan? I will memorize the plan. You need to do two things. Two things. Do not let Uzbegil get the magic diary. Get the diary. And you must not tell Uzbegil that you know she is not me. Must not tell. The second one is the most important one. Must not tell. But also everyone on Earth will die if Uzbegil gets the diary. So they're, they're both very important. Must not tell. I will be there soon and I will save all of us. Goodbye. Goodbye, Frank Bloom. Jeez, Frank, you are saying the meanest things. Must not tell. Your father would be ashamed to see your failure, to see you using his diary, his legacy for revenge. Maybe, but what, what if I don't care about that? Must not tell. Eugenia, accept the truth. Relax. Let me have the diary. Cousin Eugenia, that is not Frank. That is Uzbegil. Of course I am Frank. Uzbegil is gone. You told me to answer the hell phone, fake Frank Bloom. And so I did. And it was the real Frank Bloom. And he said Uzbegil stole his face. Whoa, okay. So this totally explains why Frank is being such a jerk. Uzbegil is not nice. Uzbegil wants to end the world. <laughs> <laughs> so the time has come to drop this weak, anxious flesh form here. You pathetic, half-made meddling demon. I almost had the diary in my hands. What did you do to Frank? Frank Bloom is trapped inside the portal with my puppies. Puppies? Hellhounds, Eugenia. Blint is mistaken. As we speak, the hellhounds are devouring Frank's soul. But do not grieve. Soon you will join him once you bear witness to my great evilness. I still have this, Uzbegil. Oh, the diary. I know you're scared of it. You cannot read it. So thank you for sharing that with me. I can read enough to take you down. Blustering to the end. Very well, Eugenia. You go first. Give me your best shot, as you humans say. Yep. There's got to be something. I can do this. Time's running now. Stupid diary. Mm, failure and fear. My favorite combinations. Eugenia? No, not now, Plinth. Okay, I'm kind of busy. I can't read this, and I know this doesn't work. Crap. As in Eugenia, that diary makes you feel bad. It does? It, it does. Always, yeah. It always makes you feel bad. I love you. Do not feel bad. You're, you're right. Time's up, Eugenia. Are you prepared to fight me? Uzbegil, here's the diary. What? Take it. Everyone, that is not me. That is Uzbek. Oh, oh, she's not me anymore. Yada, we know. Plinth told us. Plinth. I know you said not to tell, but I told. <laughs> and Uzbekil has a diary. Uzbekil has a diary. <gasps> Awake and yearn, you flames of hell. Now rise and swell this book to burn. Yenia's diary is turning into pretty purple smoke. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is bad, Eugenia. What do we do? Oh, I feel weird. Are you okay? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of dizzy. Don't, don't breathe in that smoke. It's probably toxic. I like the smoke. I think that is enough from the two of you for now. That is enough. From the two of us. You will stay where you are. We will stay. Where we are. <laughs> my greatest enemy on her knees. My greatest annoyance is under my control. And now I will consume all the souls of Hollow Grove. And then the world. And I will show you Lucifer what's what. Now, 
the two of you will sing my praises. Never. Do it. I won't. I hail. Uzbegil. Again. Hail. Uzbegil. <laughs> Once more. Hail. Uzbegil. You see, Eugenia, your diary is destroyed. Your friends are helpless. How does that make you feel? Just, oh, I have this weird tickle in my throat. Mm, the sore throat of defeat. The thorns of bitter anguish. It's more like butterflies. The stinging butterflies of hell. <laughs> Hang on. There's no such thing. Oh, they're going down into my stomach. Whoa, okay, it's, it's filling up my whole body. Whoa. <sighs> the bitter poison of defeat is consuming you! Right, Flank Frankenplint? Hey, oh. Uzbegil. Oh. Uzbegil. What? Do you wish to beg for my mercy? Thank you. For ending your life of pitiful human failures? Thank you for destroying the diary. What trickery are you attempting? I destroyed your power when I destroyed the diary. I win. Hail. Uzbegil. Frankenplinth, your voice is trapped. Now be free, Kursko. Be zapped. <laughs> Pathetic. What, ha what happened? Oh, are we in a trance again? <gasps> we were in a trance. Cousin Eugenia, you are so amazing. I know, right? How did you break that? <laughs> you thought that you could destroy the magic diary, but you were wrong. Ha ha, you were wrong. Well, I mean, you did destroy the diary, but you can't destroy the magic. You <sighs> cannot destroy the magic. And I realized that because of Plinth. Oh, what did I say? She made me realize that the diary sucked. All it ever did was stress me out and, like, cause me a lot of pain. She was right. So I let you destroy it. And when you destroyed it, its magic went into me and it feels freaking awesome. <laughs> it matters not. Even your family's weak magic is nothing against me. Yeah? Well, let's find out, huh? Fake Archdemon, you're now derailed. Your power's gone and you have failed. <laughs> More poetry. More poetry. More poetry. Perhaps I will give you a taste of my own. Foolish human, you're... Uh, what rhymes with human? Why can I not think of a rhyme? I cannot think! What's the matter? Are you having a hard time thinking? I, I can't think quite... Quite... Oh, what's the word? Well? Yes! Ah, my, my, what are my words! They are thinky good... What rhymes with human? Cousin Eugenia, you are beating Uzbegil. <laughs> yeah, but what the heck do I do with her? Eugenia, can you send her back into the unclosable portal? Oh, I can do anything. You can away throw me, but I will return. Return, and I will be more... What's the word? Stronger? -er? That is a lie, and it is not nice to lie. She's right. You are scared of hell because you failed Lucifer. Uncle Lucifer gets very grumpy. Smell of sulfur? Fear of... What comes next? Fear? Fire? Fear? I... I feel fear. That's not right! You should feel fear! Mm. Say hi to Lucifer for us. Horrid demon Uzbegil from Earth B. Banish shed. In this hotel, do not dabble on Earth. Never again tread. No! No! I won't be beat by such terrible poetry! By Uzbegil. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Why does magic always have to be so loud? Oh man, okay, that was a rush. So, okay, she was flushed to hell, right? No, now she plays with the hellhounds. No way. I am listening to the hell portal phone. 
Uzbe Gil is playing with my puppy. I, sort of, made a deal with a demon to borrow the hellhounds. My puppies love Uzbegil, <laughs> and I think that she loves them. Oh, I can tell by how much she is screaming. Goodbye, Uzbegil. Goodbye, puppies. So that's it. We defeated Uzbegil. We defeated Uzbegil. <laughs> we, we did it. We win. <laughs> <laughs> we beat Uzbegil. Oh, finally. <sighs> and now we can eat dinner. Ooh. How do hamburgers sound, you two? Oh, hamburgers. Heck yes. <laughs> oh, except um, one thing. The unclosable portal is still coming out of my lobby phone. It is a very pretty portal tornado. We'll figure it out. I was really hoping it would go away. Spring Bloom, the portal phone is lighting up. That's weird. Um, thank you for calling the Hollow Grove Hotel. This is Frank. How can I help you? Hey, bud. Oh, oh. Hello, Sloth. How is, uh, hell? Ah, hell is super duper. Gotta hand it to you, Frank. Lucifer is sure happy to have Uzbegil's soul. Gave my boss a promotion since she has taken all the credit. Isn't that just typical? Ah, no hard feelings. Because I was promoted to her manager job. You are talking to Sloth, head security demon. Wow, congratulations. Well, it was lovely to catch up. I'll check in at your hotel just as soon as I pack my swimsuit. Wait, hotel? Here? Now? Swimsuit? I get unlimited vacations. Now I'm a manager, and you and I had an agreement. Right, yes, agreement. Um, I am looking forward to hosting you. <laughs> See you in five. Five mi minutes? Sloth? Hello? Hello? Uh, they hung up. What was that all about? Um, so, uh... We have a demon guest checking in. Oh, a new friend. I uh, sort of offered them free hotel stays for life in exchange for letting me borrow the hellhounds and oh, also in exchange for my soul. Seems fair. I thought so. I am so happy. So does that mean you're okay with other magical creatures and whatnot staying here? I guess I don't have a choice. Yay! <laughs> our demon problem is solved. Our money problem is solved. Maybe everything will finally be fine. <laughs> oh, crap. What? Whenever we say that, things get worse. Next time, things get worse. <laughs>